My eyes are so red. I have commitment issues. It seemed like he just came down and he was like, girl. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much, and welcome back, besties. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you my perfume tray. Now, you guys know I took a whole, uh, what, question poll on Instagram, and I asked you all, girl, can it's this early in the video and I already can't speak. I asked all of you, how did you feel about perfume trays? Well, we were all in the same thing. I can't commit, I can't stick to it, I can't do none of that. But I'm gonna share with you today how I did my perfume tray. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous dueling. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into, want to become a part of, stop what you're doing, drop me your scent of the day because you know I wanna know. If this seems like your vibe or your zhuzh, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button, but don't stop there. I wanna ensure that you never miss a video over here, so smash the notification bell. It'll alert you every single time there's a new video on this channel. And if you really wanna become a bestie, which I hope you do, go ahead and come over on Instagram, slide in the DMs, say hello, and that way I'll know you're truly a bestie. Without further ado, we are hopping into this video right now. Hello besties, you guys! I hope you all are having a good day. Before we get started, you guys, because I have a real quick video, but I have this on my, I just gotta say it. My eyes are so red. I was crying like nobody's business. I had to take my makeup off, I had to start it over, do it over again. Church was so good today, so, so, so good. My eyes like are like really red. I mean, I lost it, child. Lost it, girl, just lost it. Praising God. It was, the message was just so good. It was so timely. It was so right there. It was like, okay, God, I hear you. It seemed like he just came down and he was like, girl, um, I just, he just, he just blessed me. There's no other way to say it. He just blessed me. I know you guys were like, girl, what was the message? It was basically just saying like, God doesn't make any mistakes. Every single thing that happens, happens for a reason. I know that's not an easy pill to swallow all the time, but everything that has ever happened in our life, everything that has ever come, this is not what the video was about, but this is the way it's going. I'm gonna have to pause and come back. I gotta pull it together. But anyways, um, anything that has happened that is the way that it is, God knew it was gonna happen before it even happened. Uh, you don't have to wait for the right amount of time or wait till you get this or wait till you get that. He said, work with what you have while you're waiting on what you want. Um, just to not, to, to not procrastinate, to not say, I can't do this because I don't have that. Or I can't, you know, register for this because I don't have that. Just start moving in your purpose. Work with the gifts that he's given you and just work while you're waiting. You know what I mean? But wait with anticipation, with something getting ready to happen, with something getting ready to explode. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get to the video, I promise you I am. Um, but that's what the message was. That was the gist of it. It was a lot more than that, but I'm just, if I can share with anybody, he does not make any mistakes. So if you're going through something, pray for strength. But uh, if he if he brought you to it, he's gonna see you through it. Give me, give me a 2.5, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back. I had to, <laughs> I had to bring it back together. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and I'm not apologizing for sharing the word with you. I will never apologize for that. I'm apologizing because I was like, I thought I was done, but when I started talking, I was like, oh my God, here I go again. So I'm better, I'm back. Okay, okay, the waterworks are done. Anyways, you guys, okay, so let's get into my fragrance tray. So what I did, and I've done this before, I put this beautiful tray out. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna insert a clip here, but I put this beautiful empty tray out at the start of the week. And so what I've been doing um, is that every night, I, I, you know, I take a shower and I typically will sleep in a fragrance. If I'm testing it, I'm testing it. Most times I'm sleeping in it. So what I've done is I've taken out this tray and my nighttime routine, I will put on the tray. So the two body creams, body butters that I have been playing with all week long is from Skin Potions. This one is Karma Sutra and this is my absolute favorite. I have been sharing this with you guys. I mean forever. If you've been watching the channel, you already know. This is absolutely amazing. I tell you all the time, it is so good, so hydrating, so nourishing, so moisturizing. It smells amazing. And yes, girl, yes, guy, 
it helps with my eczema. Somebody told me the reason why, Ray told me himself, you know, with the materials and ingredients, not materials, girl, ingredients that they make with it, that it has something in there that does help it. So I'm just saying for me, it takes away my flare ups and it keeps me really hydrated and moisturized. I told myself, stop using this. You have so many other, you know, um, body oils, body butters, body lotions, but you guys, I tell you the truth, I keep reaching for this like nobody's business. I just do. And then I also, go ahead and douse myself. And when I say douse myself, I'm seriously telling you, I douse myself with the revitalizing body oil. This here also is by Skin Potion. I'll link everything in the description box below. I do have a discount code. I'll link that below as well. This is good stuff. This is good, good. I told you all the time, I'm not gonna say if it's not true. I don't care how hyped it is, how popular it is. I'm gonna form my own opinion. One thing about me, I'm gonna keep true to me. This is good good so i had been hydrating and moisturizing myself all week with this however i did tell myself okay girl it's enough we need to reach for something else and i wanted to give a fair shot to the fenty butter drop um you know the whip vanilla dream body oil cream that is this one here i shared this with you guys i shared it with you when i first got it when i unboxed it yada 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 it's really good um i still feel the same way about it it smells like vanilla like a warm vanilla cookie, it's very lightly scented. And that's why I love this because this is scented. You're talking about scented, this is scented. So, um, but this is really good. I still think in my honest opinion, the original Fenty that came out is still more hydrating than this. I don't know if they changed the formula. I don't know, maybe it has a little gold shimmers in it, the specks or the flakes. It, I don't know, it's not the same. I can't be honestly sure, but it feels a little bit different, but I did play with this and this went so well with one of the fragrances that I slept in uh, this past week. And did you guys know that this is refillable? Like you don't have to buy the whole thing again. You know you can just go into Sephora or order it online. This totally comes out. This is the pod that you would keep. This is what you would throw away. And it goes like this, so it's refillable. So don't buy it, um, you know, don't keep buying it. Once you bought the tray, you're good. With the soap, with their skincare, most of their stuff, you'll just refill it and put it back in here and you're good to go. Is my face there? Okay, good. I thought I had lost myself. So yeah, so I have been playing in this and I'll share with you what I slept in. That was just an amazing combo. Hold on, you gotta put it back in. And it just clicks back in. I needed that lotion actually because I think I was kinda, ashy a little bit every time i come on here it's like okay it's ashiness so anyhow here's what i slept in i have been reaching for this like nobody's business i don't know why i don't know why i get on these frenzies sometime and i'm like reaching for it reaching for it reaching for it and it is burberry her and you guys please don't judge my bottles i've been using them and my hands have been gre gre greasy every time i show you a bottle it's greasy but i'm using my fragrances this is burberry her this is the original i feel like i've been talking about this fragrance forever it is the one that started my whole love for the collection. And I, and you can see the dent in here, okay? It's speaking for itself. It's giving, um, I've been used, okay? That's what it is. This is very berries, it's fruity. I'm not doing notes. I'm just telling you about what I'm what I'm sleeping in and what I've been reaching for. This has a lot of berries in it. Berries in it. Um, it's very fruity, it's sexy. I love it. And you know, it makes for a good night's rest. I don't know how that could even be possible, but I get out of the shower, douse myself in my Karma Sutra, layer myself in this, spray it heavy. I even go over by my bed area, like right before I get in the bed and just spray just a little bit like a bedroom mist or what have you. And this is so good. So if you have not had a chance to get your nose on Burberry Her, I would highly recommend it. Yes, I do love Burberry Her Elixir. I told you that's a little bit more, a little bit, but I use that more on date nights I've been using this just to sleep in though and it's been really good so after I use it I sit it on the tray because that's what I've used for the week right right okay let me keep going now another one for my gourmand lovers if you love gourmand fragrances um the one that I picked up recently here was by So de Janeiro and this is Chorizo Chorizo 62 I believe that's how you say it if it's not you already know I'm trying I put this on and I slept in it. I was still wearing the Karma Sutra at this point. Was I or was I wearing Fendi? No, I was wearing Karma Sutra. You guys, I put this on and before I even got in the bed to go to sleep, I didn't smell it anymore. I don't know what happened. Um, it's supposed to have pistachio, a vanilla, caramel, something like that. I could be making this up, but I think I'm telling the truth. Um, it just wasn't, I was like, what happened? It, I should have probably put the bum bum cream with it. I, sh I have that. I should have probably did that, but it just, 
it just didn't give the way I thought it would. Um, I wanted more for this and I really did over spray it as well. So I did sleep in this. And then after that, I was like, well, I'm not reaching for you anymore because you didn't get the job done. I will play with it again. If you've had any um, experience with this, let me know your thoughts. Do you have it? How does it wear for you? Um, when I picked, when I had my sample, my sample was pretty good. So I'm like, why are you not giving right now? But it's really good. It smells like vanilla. It's a good warm gourmand kind of, you know, caramel fragrance. I do like it, but it didn't give. I might need to put it with its bum bum cream and maybe the shower gel and the exfoliate. So I'll try it again, but I did sleep in this. I did play with that this week as well. So then when I got done, I put it on the fragrance tray. Now, another one I've been reaching for like absolute crazy. I've already shared this with you guys in countless videos, but just in case you haven't had it, you're looking for something like an easy reach, Netflix and chill, cozy, comforting, date night appropriate, especially if you were gonna chill in the house, like you were standing in the cut, you weren't going nowhere, but you still wanted to smell good and look cute in the house. Oh my gosh, this, look at the dent in here already. Joe Malone Scarlet Poppy. And I've shared that with you guys when I first got it. I did, and I know you I know you have been seeing it in every video, you guys. I've always tell you, I can only give to you what a fragrance gives to me, and I can only share with you what I'm really reaching for. Now, if I'm testing a fragrance, that's something different. But what I'm reaching for in my own personal time <clears throat> is this right here. Oh my God, it's so, it's so pretty too, you know what I mean? I mixed this with a couple of fragrances the other night. Oh God, it's good. And I wore it to a concert and I'll share that with you guys in a video coming up. This I've been reaching for like immediately out of the shower, right? Immediately out of the shower while the body is still damp. Do not completely dry off. Do not completely dry off. Allow the body to still be like damped a little bit, not soaking wet, water running down your, no, mm-mm. As I said, a little damp, just a little bit. Um, you wanna go ahead and put your oils, your moisturizers on your lotions, what have you. And then right while the lotions and moisturizers, body oils, whatever you're choosing, is still kind of, you know, it hasn't completely, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? Uh, dissolve, not dissolved. Um, oh my God, what are you trying to say? I can't think of the word. Well, it hasn't completely dried or anything yet. Go ahead and spray this on. I doused this all over me from head to toe. The sheets were crisp and the bed was cold. I got in and I was like, oh, this right here is good, good. This is good too. I wore this the other day out. It's just a good everyday easy reach scent and I absolutely love it. All right, I move on. Now another one I reached for, remember this is this was a week leading up to Valentine's Day um, weekend. So, you know, I had the whole thing from Coco Mademoiselle, Chanel, when they did the Lo Prove, remember the bedtime fragrance that you sleep in? I got the whole thing, the do not disturb, the um, eye mask, everything like that, that you got when it launched, right? So I said, ooh, tonight I wanna be that woman. I'm gonna sleep in that. So I lotioned myself with the dry body oil, and then I put on the Fenty uh, Butter Drop Vanilla Dream. I wanted to sweeten it up a little bit because this is still not as sharp as the original fragrance Coco Mademoiselle, but it does have some sharpness to it. So I, because I was sleeping in it and it was an intimate night, I did want to soften it a little bit. So I put this on, I put this on top. Oh my gosh, it was so good. This is Coco Mademoiselle. You guys, you already knew a Coco, a Chanel fragrance was gonna be in here. This is absolutely beautiful. And like I said, it does have the patchouli note in there as well. It's not heavy at all. It's really good. And the mister on this is what I love the most. That mister is everything oh it's good you see how you could spray that much normally if this would have been the normal fragrance I would be sneezing like crazy this does not do the same thing if you're looking for a fragrance to sleep in something lighter to wear and you wanted to get Chanel to your collection or add it into your collection I would say this is definitely a way to go it does not have you know the sharpness to it is not as harsh as the original so I would definitely recommend this and it paired really well with the Fenty vanilla dream I move on. What did I do when I got done? I added it to the perfume tray. You see how I'm building my perfume tray? My whole goal is to put dents in my collection. Fragrances that I'm loving, I wanna reach for, and I wanna have a dent in every single bottle. Uh, one thing about me, when I find a fragrance I like, I just keep reaching for it over and over and over, and it's like, okay, you're not giving anybody else a chance. So this is my whole reasoning for doing my perfume tray. After I got done with that, I reached for Poison Girl, because I hardly ever reach for it, although, Look at the dent I made over this past couple of months that I have been playing with it. Can you guys see that there? I put a nice size dent in it. 
I wanted this in my collection because I had heard so much about it. I went into Sephora, I picked up Poison Girl, the red one, the one that looks like an apple from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It looked like an apple. Um, I picked that one up and then this was next to it. So I smelt it. Is this the Edie Toilette? Uh-huh, this is the Edie Toilette. I smelt this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is really good. It's kind of powdery. It's kind of uh, rose tonka bean. I'm not very familiar with this one because I don't reach for it like that, but it was really nice to sleep in. I paired it with the Fenty Vanilla Dream. It went really, it has vanilla in it, almond. It's a warm, spicy. It's gourmand even as well. It's still cold. So I'm still trying to reach for the ones that are a little bit more warm. I was like, why do I have those spots on my arm? Oh from this shirt. I'm <laughs> sorry. I was like, what in the world is going on? Yeah, this was good. This was nice to sleep in. But I, if I were to be completely honest with you, I'm going to be completely honest because you already know I pride myself on being honest. Once I run out of this, and I'm going to use it up because it really is good. But once I run out of this, you guys, I won't buy it again. I, I think I'm done. I'm past these kind of scents. Or I'm past this scent. You know what I mean? It's nice, but mm, if I never visit it again in my life, it'd be okay with me. So this was nice. It's going on the perfume tray. But if I run out, I'll probably never buy it again. I move on. Another one that I slept in, and this is a combo that stole the show. I was like, OMG. I smell like a warm gourmand vanilla snack. Oh, I smell so good. Girl, tell us what is it? Remember when this came out by the House of Siage Chiffon Cream or Cream Chiffon? It was like, I was just like, oh, it's okay. Like, you know, it's okay. Look at the dent in here. Do you see that? Do you see that? It's almost gone. I have been reaching for this and spraying it like crazy, but only at bedtime, really. And I've been using it as a topper. Um, like if I wore something like a, uh, what is it, Kayali Vanilla 28, or sometime if I've worn Love Don't Be Shy Extreme, or something in that caliber of fragrance, I would reach for something like this just to sweeten it up a little bit. This cream chiffon is good, good. I have been reaching for it like crazy, and I paired it with the Vanilla Dream from Fenty, absolutely amazing. It's the vanilla that's in here, that's in here. They go together. It was on the body. It was hydrated, moisturized. And this right here is absolutely amazing. Vanilla in here and the whipped cream that's in here. It's a beautiful, creamy, rich type of vanilla. You know what I mean? It's not, it, I don't know. It's almost like a, like a, a, a warm, butter cake vanilla type of, I know you guys, I know, but it's like a gourmand as well. And this, oh my God, it's so, I can spray it all right. Girl, don't do, I'm just gonna spray a little bit. Stop judging me, pick somebody. Oh, I love it. It's so good. If you have not got your hands on this, Check it out, and here's what I'm gonna say. You know how Cecile's just always having a sale. You know they're always having a sale. Check their websites. You might be able to find this at 30, 40, even 50% off. I'll check for you. If I can find it, I'm gonna link it down in the description box below. I do have an affiliate link for House of Siad, so if you shop it and you shop my link, I'll make a small commission. If you like to do that, go for it. If you don't, it's still all good. Thank you. But this right here, I would highly recommend. Get in your nose one. You have to like vanilla though. And it is kind of whipped creamy. It is, you know, one of those, but oh my God, if you want something to just smell like a gourmand snack, this is where it's at. I move on. I made a mistake. I reached for, I don't know why I reached for this. I, I, I was, ugh. I think I thought I was going to go out and then I ended up staying in and I changed my mind and I had reached for Tibet and I paired it with the Karma Sutra. Oh my God, amazing combo. But this made me want to go out. This is hot. This is, oh, this is heavy. See, right now it's doing it. This makes me want to go out. It's like amber, bergamot, sand, coconut, something like that. You guys, it's hard to explain. This is one that you want to experience. If you have, um, what, Cassiopeia, you will like this. If you have smelled strychnina, oh my gosh. 
you're definitely gonna like this but it's hot and heavy oh it's hot and heavy i do have a 20 percent off discount code with soya vanguard so if you're interested in that i would highly recommend picking it up start with a sample it is pricey you already know i like to encourage you to start with a sample but at the same time is your dollar do what makes you happy but this right here is a fantastic fabulous combo if you're going out if you want to be seen if you want your fragrance to get that i'm gonna stop talking about it because it's about to be in another video but this right here tibet by tenciana terenzi absolutely phenomenal and that is it so that's how i do my perfume tray so i had all those fragrances i sat them on the tray after i wore them now what i do is i put them in my other room and i go you're not going to reach for these again that's what I did because I want to use everything because I want to be able to come and share new stuff with you, share how new fragrances are performing. And if I see my same true loves and my same favorites, I'm going to keep reaching for them. Every month I'll put every fragrance back where it originated from and then I will be able to play with it again. But for right now, those fragrances, oh God, that's going to be so hard. Those fragrances I'm trying to leave over there for a month just so that I can ensure that I'm using and wearing everything in my collection. Now listen, listen, listen. If I get to a point where I'm like, oh my God, but I just want to put on, you know, Scarlet Poppy. I just have to reach for it. I'm going to reach for it. It's just going to come out of the room and go back on the tray again, but I'm trying not to do that. So I don't put any rules, rules like you can't reach for that, but it's a great way to build your fragrance tray and try out different fragrances. And when you try them out, it helps you to know like what really works so that I can bring you guys, you know, how it worked for me, what it paired with combos, layering combos, different things like that. So that is my, I'm not going to say January. It's already February. Dang. Anyways, that is my perfume tray. That is how I'm doing my perfume tray. Thank you guys for coming over, for chatting with me, for hanging out. Um, the beginning of the video, I have so, I'm not so sorry, but it was like, girl, how come you didn't have it together? The message. It was the message. It is like, don't start. I, I cannot start again. The whole waterworks will happen again. But that is it for this video. I will see you beautiful besties in the next one. I want to hear from you. Let me know down below in the comment section. Are you a perfume tray kind of gal or guy? How do you do your perfume trays? I try to commit to a perfume tray. I try to say, okay, these are the fragrances that I'm going to reach for for the month of February. It didn't work because I'm like, I don't want to wear that. Like I'm going out. I want to wear this. And if it wasn't on the tray, I felt like, oh, I have to pick something on the tray. So I don't like that. I want to have the liberty and the freedom to pick what I want. And then I'll put it on the tray and tell myself, okay, don't reach for that no more this month. You already wore it, but you already know if I change my mind, I'm going to reach for it anyway. I have commitment issues. Stop judging me. I have commitment issues. I don't like being committed to stuff. I'm not flaky, but I just, I, I, don't, I don't like commitment. I gotta go. All right, I'm leaving. What time is it? 20 minutes. Okay, and that is it. I will see you beautiful besties in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks for watching. Bye.